We've got some incredible body tricks for you to show your friends. Want to find out how you can stop your mates from simply picking up something off the floor? We're going to show you. It's on. To do this trick, I'm going to need some money. Oh, all right. But it's my lunch money. I'm going to need it back. Well, I tell you what, Zand, you can have it back if you can pick it up off the floor. If you don't pick it up, I get it. Sounds quite easy. I got it. That was a rubbish trick. Who thinks that was a rubbish trick? Yeah! All right, Zand, well, we'll do it again. This time, you won't be able to pick up the money. So go and stand against the wall. And now, keeping your feet where they are, I just want you to bend down and pick up the money. Come on, Zan, pick it up. Chris, what have you done? Ah, I can't get it. That's hard. So it looks like I get the lunch money, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, then. Let's see if anyone else can do it. He can't. <laughs> she definitely can't. So why can't anyone, including Zand, pick up the money? <laughs> when you bend over, your bum pushes back. And the wall's stopping it from pushing back. George has got it. <laughs> Normally, when you bend over to pick something up, your body will adjust itself backwards in order to balance it out. So when your body's flat against the wall, you can't go backwards, and there's no chance of picking up that money. All you can do is fall forwards. <laughs> So I'm going to need the money back from all of you guys. Give me my money back! Come on, Zand. Now, this experiment is to show you what happens inside your body every time you eat. Right, now, Zand, what I need you to do is take that tube, and when I give you the instruction blow, I want you to blow into it. On blow, I go. That's right, you go on blow. <laughs> Son, why did you do that? You said blow. But now we have to set it all up again. For this experiment, we're using lycopodium powder to represent food. OK, Zond, blow torch on. Are you ready, Zond? Ready! Blow! Wow! Whoa! So what's going on? The lycopodium powder has mixed with the air breathed out by Zond, been ignited by the flame, causing a chemical reaction which releases lots of energy. Now, although there's no fire inside you, chemically this is what happens in your body when you eat. Your food is fuel, just like the lycopodium powder. It mixes with the oxygen and releases energy, which is what allows you to do all sorts of things, whether it's just breathing or running around. But how much energy do you need? And is there such a thing as too much? Well, we're going to find out. Your body is a bit like an engine, so it needs fuel for all the things it has to do. To show you what I mean, I've rigged up a simple engine system, and I'm going to need Zahn's body. Oh, well, no problem at all, Chris. My body is ready at the service of science. For many years, I... Actually, Zahn, I don't need that body. What? But you just said... I've got Minnie Zand to help me. What? He's clamped his legs. Is that a wire in the back of his head? What is going on? Minnie Zand is hooked up to an engine system which represents what your body does with the food and drink that you consume. I can do what he's doing. Stop it. When you eat and drink, your body uses it to create energy. So, with this engine, this hose full of water represents your food and drink. And when I squirt it onto the wheel, the wheel will turn, creating energy which is sent to the light bulb on Mini Zahn's head, which represents his energy levels. OK, so what now? Well, we're going to see what happens when different amounts of the fuel are pumped through to Mini Zahn. First, this is what happens to Minizand when he eats just the right amount of energy. It's a bit like if you eat a decent breakfast, lunch and dinner. So you can see we have a nice balance here. Minizand's light is on and everything is working perfectly. Your body takes the fuel and turns it into the right amount of energy you need for an average day. But what about if Minizand has had a really busy day and he forgot to eat lunch? That does happen. Good question, Zand. Well, let's find out. Now, I'm putting less water on the wheel, and it's not spinning, so the light bulb isn't coming on. This is not good. Exactly. 
That's what happens if you don't eat enough. Your poor body has no energy to do what it needs to, and as a result, you feel tired, and it can mean your body won't be able to perform all its functions properly. Well, that could make him ill. I think you need to give him some more fuel right now, Chris. Yes, but I think we also need to see what happens if you eat or drink too much, like that extra chocolate biscuit I saw you eating earlier, Zant. Let's have a look. So now, there's plenty of energy to power Mini Zant and his light bulb. But we're putting so much fuel in, it's getting fuller than it should be. Exactly, and that's what happens when you eat more than you need to. Your body has to find something to do with all that excess fuel. Something tells me Mini Zahn is about to change. Well, the excess fuel creates unused energy, which gets turned into fat cells. Mini Zahn is becoming overweight. Oh, no! Poor Mini Zahn! So we've seen how when you drink and eat food, your body combines it with oxygen to create energy. And that energy fuels the things you do every day. But it's important to get the balance right between what goes in and what you use. Too little and you can become underweight, too much and you can become overweight. But unlike Mini Zand, no one becomes too thin or too fat overnight. It takes a long time to happen, so as long as you keep things balanced most of the time, your body will be happy. And of course, if you hadn't clamped Mini Zand's legs, he'd have been able to do some exercise and he'd have been fine. Uh, what are you doing? I'm taking Mini Zand for a run. But first, I'm going to buy him some decent gym gear, a chassis sports top, some good shorts, some sweatbands, a pair of decent trainers. Zand, I thought you were kidding. <laughs>